Hello folks, my name is Wayne Bolden. Don't mind Diamond Ortiz in the background. Not Jose Ortiz. Not I ran. It's Diamond Ortiz in the background. Turn your closed captions on. Tip sheets will be available. It is what? Tuesday. We're having a bunch of fun in the studio. I just wanted to crank up a little Diamond Ortiz. For sure. Well, as always, tip sheets will be available right here at your Speed King channel. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Let's dive in. Well, I had to put a little Diamond Ortiz on. Why? Well, we're we're committed to having fun, and there's nothing wrong with having fun unless you're not getting none. That's not my case, right? Listen, race number nine at Oakland Park on Saturday, about 5:23. Now everybody knows race number seven, right? The old Martin Stakes. I love the number one horse. That's where all my money's going to go. But race number nine is the Whitmore. How good was Whitmore? Race number nine, that's right, is for four-year-olds and up 250000 It's a sprint. They're on the dirt, of course. It's six furlongs. The grade three Whitmore stakes. And we got a field of seven. Now, listen to me. You got a choice here. There's only two horses in here that I think really, really can win the race. You either want the early speed or you want the late runner, okay? Now, I'm telling you speed is king. So you know which way I'm leaning. I'm going to go ahead and take the number three horse, Rivet. Oh, no, he didn't. Ain't that an ass, Musin horse? It is. And he's got his son in the arms. That's right, Keith Asmussen is in the, in the arms with a speed figure coming out of an allowance race. No, he didn't bring an allowance horse. To a grade three party. I did because this horse should have a clear lead out the gate. The number three horse Rivet has seven wins from 14 starts. And by the way, that's 50% in case your math felt you. One second, one third, 749,000. I'm going to mention it again by competitive edge for sure. They paid 70,000 for the people out there who said I shouldn't mention how much they paid for them. That means they've never purchased the halls, right? Competitive edge, medallion door on the back end, the Hall of Famer, my boy Steve Asmussen, on his way to a derby win with Track Phantom. No, you did not just said it, right? Rivet is going to be tough on the front, y'all, with his son in the arm. Why? Wow. Should get clear, should control the race. This is a sprinter's race. That's what Whitmore was. Hey, our top pick is the number three horse for sure. Now, that being said, the number two horse, who I've bet many times, Tarhano Twist, beat this horse before. Many times beat uh, Rivet. But the number two horse has nine wins from 29 starts, seven seconds, and four thirds. And by the way, that's 20 in the money from 29 starts. This five-year-old is by practical joke, Chris Hartman, Mary Hartman, Mary, Mary Hartman. But it's Chris Hartman doing the condition. And you got my boy in the arms, Chris Landero, particularly when he rides for his father-in-law, Wilkins, right? Yeah, in. But listen, Tejano Twist. Don't think this horse is going to get a pace to run at. But here is your last year's winner of the Whitmore. And use the same pattern to come into this race. On February 3rd, uh, um, uh, Tohano Twist ran in the uh, King Cotton Stakes and ran second. Well, last year took the same path, ran in the King Cotton and ran second for sure. So they're using the same tactic. This is the defending champion of this race, the Whitmore Grade 3. So they're sitting on it. They pointed this horse to this race. So it's no doubt that the number two horse will be running and will be in the exact first or second. That's a fact. Okay, you cannot leave the number two horse off your ticket because when the last 70 yards come, this one will be picking them up and this one will be laying them down. This one is your returning champion from last year's Whitmore Grade 3. Hello, for sure. That's our second pick, 
but don't get it twisted. It looks like a cold exactly to me. Three, two, two, three. I'm just the speed king, so I'm going to take the speed. And it's my boy Asmussen with the number three, so it's three, two for us. You said, well, who's the third horse, speed king? Don't care. I really don't care. If you got to have a third horse, go ahead, go ahead and use, I guess, the number four, Surveillance. Use the number five, Ninja Warrior. Use Jackson Traveler, the number six, okay? Four, five, six underneath. But for me, all I see is three, two, two, three for your life in the Whitmore. You got the early runner, uh, Rivet, with Keith Asmussen, and my boy, the Hall of Famer. Soon to be a derby winner, Steve Asmussen. Calling the signals on the number three. And Tejano Twist, the returning champion from last year's Whitmore, will be coming. And took the same path to get here. To me, this is a cold exact of 3223 for your life. Now, if you got to use horses underneath, go ahead. Use the number four horse, Surveillance. Use the number five, Ninja Warrior. Use the number uh, six, Jackson Traveler. Use them underneath. But as far as I'm concerned, this is 3223 two, three for your life. You got it. I just told you. Let me see if you can catch Rivet with Mr. Keith Asmussen on the front end with his dad pushing the buttons in the trainer's booth. Come on, Tahano Twist. Try to catch speed. You know it's king. 3-2. That's what I'm calling. Having a bunch of fun, y'all, as always. Talk to me. Do I need to go back to a little Diamond Ortiz? You got it! Having a bunch of fun. As always, right? Red can't catch Rivet. How they gonna catch him? Go on. Whistle. How they say? Whistle. Can't catch him. Tahano Twist. I ain't mad at him. He can't catch him. By the way. Gunrunner won the grade three Whitmore. Who trained Gunrunner? Steve Asmussen. You don't think Steve Asmussen know what he's doing? Please, put Rivet on the lead, young man. Mr. Keith Asmussen, smoke him from the gate, young man. Tahano Twist will be coming. He ain't catching this horse. Not, to, not on Saturday, night race. Matter of fact, I'll go seventh race all in the eighth race to the ninth race. I'll go two, three, three, two in the pick three. Cause in race number seven, I'm all in on the number one horse. Extreme smoke shell. So I'll go one in the seventh race, all in the eighth race, back to the two, three. Hello, punch that 10 or 15 times. I'm just saying. My name is Wayne Bolton, I'm the Speed King. Nobody has more fun than me. For sure. I don't even know what the other handicappers be doing, right? I really don't. Stay classy in all you do. Enjoy a little Diamond Ortiz. Y'all know I love the Ortiz, but not Irad and not Jose. I love Diamond Ortiz. Because everything he put out is funny. Seventh race, the number one horse. Eighth race, give me the all button in the pick three. And then two, three. Keep punching the ticket. Bow, 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 bow. Five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Great thoughts, Speed King. Stay classy in all you do. Have a little fun. Don't let life pass you by for sure. Don't let it pass you by. Not me. Stay classy, y'all. If they go low, you know what to do. Keep it 100. I should go disco dancing this week. Nobody has more fun than me as I move towards my retirement, y'all. Down on the Jersey Shore. Seventh race, horse number one. Eighth race, all in the pick three. Ninth race, just go two, three. Keep punching until the machine run out of paper. Gotta make a stand somewhere. My name is Wayne Bolton. We know your name. I am your.
speak. <laughs>